uh, some uh, additional uh, principles here. Um, when, uh, even when we're not dealing with a traditional law legal system, we are dealing with uh, legal systems that go back, you know, centuries if not millennia. So we, uh, you know, there are certain principles here that are kind of old-fashioned. As a matter of fact, in the common law legal system, again, one of the uh, principles, one of the points of operation of the common law legal system is, is what's known as precedent. How were cases decided by previous courts? Uh, make sure that you are not too inconsistent with what somebody else has decided in the past. Uh, precedent um, has uh, an effect uh, of, of, you know, keeping uh, the law very, uh, very traditional, very conservative in a sense, very old-fashioned. And of course, we are now dealing with completely new um, technologies and sometimes even principles and concepts which do not um, work well with uh, the standard ideas of the past. For example, what is information? What is data? Um, legal systems uh, with regard to property uh, property is, is real property. Uh, uh, you know, even if it's, it's not real estate, it's, um, you know, if I have a bag of sugar and you steal my bag of sugar, I no longer have the bag of sugar, you have the bag of sugar. Um, that does not hold in terms of information, not necessarily. So, I have information about a process which gives me a business advantage I uh, you steal that now I may still know that process I still have that information but you have stolen it now you have the same advantage and my advantage is less because you can go into competition with me and because you know the process uh, you can uh, now compete with me and it's, it's harder for me to compete with you. Whereas before I may have had uh, a significant advantage because of knowing the process when nobody else did. So, um, you know, there's just one aspect where uh, law is... Uh, based on uh, different situations, different concepts, different ideas, um, which now with uh, information being increasingly important in terms of business, uh, you know, that uh, puts a whole different complexion on how do you decide these things. Um, again, trespass. Um, trespass means that you have entered my property. Physically entered my property. Uh, but if you trespass on my computer, um, you don't have to be anywhere near me. You can be on the other side of the world and still trespass on my computer. Um, you can uh, make some changes to my data, to my information. Um, how much is that worth? You know, in, in some cases, if it's, uh, for example, a specific program, you can make a change in one bit of that program, and the program no longer works, no longer operates. And so, now, um, where before it was uh, very useful to me, 
um, now it's completely useless. And, and so these are uh, factors in law, in, in deciding legal cases. Um, and, you know, not just in, in terms of uh, civil cases with regard to injury, but also in terms of criminal law. You know, is computer trespass similar enough to actual physical trespass when no physical entry has taken place? Um, you know, breaking and entering. You, you have broken a lock. Well, maybe you have broken um, an authentication system and obtained uh, access to a system uh, without physically breaking anything. You, you uh, have left the, uh, the lock, in a sense, intact, but you have gained access. Um, you know, is that still break and enter? Is that still trespass? Is that, you know, how do these things affect it? So, um, if, you know, is information an asset? What type of asset is it? Um, is copying a crime if no data is lost to the, the person who originally held it? Um, uh, is service an asset? And therefore, is denial of service a crime of some uh, type? Is... Uh, is malware a crime, as, as per the uh, uh, Melissa, uh, well, and I love you, uh, viruses as, as well. You know, wh was this a crime under the uh, legal code of the country of origin? Um, is, uh, well, again, you know, here's, here's a situation, and there are many situations, under civil law legal systems where creating malware isn't a crime. And so if somebody in one of those jurisdictions creates malware and uses it, uh, releases it either on the world or, or specifically targets somebody, um, is that, uh, you know, is that a crime? It's not a crime in their country. And so can you even... Uh, you know, make a case for extradition or something uh, to charge them in your country because it is a crime in your country. What they have done. So, um, all of these things uh, have to do with uh, decisions to be made uh, in in regard to these situations, these um, these principles which are now uh, uh, presenting us with, with difficulties because the law was written at a time when these factors just were not in play, um, did not really exist. And we have to decide, you know, our, our legislators, uh, our courts, um, have to decide, you know, what do we do about this? What, what new laws do we have to create? How do we interpret existing laws? Um, if it's a common law legal system and, and, you know, all of these things we need to decide. It's all uh, part of um, uh, what we have to do with regard to the law and information security.